Today we're going to be looking at a fun little program called XNest. XNest will allow us to create a window and put a new display inside that window. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying, hopefully you will by the end of the tutorial. Uh, first things first, probably don't have it installed on most systems, so sudo aptitude install xnest and go ahead and install that. We'll ask for your password, type in your password. I already have it installed, so I'm going to skip over that myself. And after that, once you have it installed, just capital X nest and uh, you don't have to give it a geometry or a size uh, and it will give it a default size. But if you wanted to give it a size, we just go dash uh, geometry 800 by 600 will be the size I give it. And currently we're running on display zero. You got to pick a display that's not being used. So you can pick one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to pick two. So colon two and hit enter and it popped up right here. We got a new little window open and this is our XNest window. Now, if I come back in here, oh, well, uh, normally I would put a N sign at the end. That's so I continue typing, typing stuff in this terminal, but I didn't do that. So I'm just gonna open up a new terminal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say export. Well, let me show you first, make this a little bit bigger. If I go echo dollar sign display all capital I hit enter it shows me I'm currently running on display 0.0, .0. so if I want to change that I can type in export display all capital whoop, equals colon 2 and I'll switch to display 2 which is what is inside our xnest window now any GUIs I run from this command line should show up inside our xnest window right there so let's move this here and i will type in a command i will type in something like x term and there you go x term opened up in that window i can control c to kill that i can type in clock oh i don't have clock installed i thought clock was a simple command um, let me check my notes here real quick. Oh, X clock. That's what I meant. X clock. And there's our X clock. Um, now there's no window manager going here. That's why there's no uh, toolbar or anything on any of these applications. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could run a full desktop in there. If I have, I can run GNOME or Fluxbox or Openbox. But I'm going to show you, you know, why would you want to run another window with inside the same window? So you can run remote uh, programs. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to SSH into another machine and then run commands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go SSH dash capital X so we can have X forwarding. I'm going to log into my arcade machine in the other room. Username is arcade. Uh, I'm sorry, username is gamer at gamer.local. I'll hit enter. I will say my password. I won't say it, I'll type it. Now, if I type in something like X term and hit enter, give it a second to forward that, you can see it's still starting up in that display over there. So, I can try running a few different programs on that, but still, why would you want to run just one program? You can do that with simple X forwarding. You don't need XNest. Well, I can type in something like GNOME, GNOME, GNOME <laughs> session and hit enter. And it will take a little bit to start up, but I should get my full desktop running uh, within, and I'm running Ubuntu uh, 10.4 over there. And you can see, Voila, within a window, I have my full desktop running. Now, this is not like a VNC. The user on that machine can still be using the desktop and they won't be seeing, you know, I won't be interfering. I can open up uh, this video folder here. And it's not the fastest because we're running the entire uh, desktop through the network, but I can run this desktop inside this window. But someone could be working on that machine and they're not seeing this. They're doing whatever they're doing. Um, so you can do it without interfering with the user um, and you can just play with the full desktop uh, and that is how XNest can be very useful.
running a remote desktop within a window. And once again, it's not a VNC. I actually think it runs smoother than VNC. And since we're using uh, SSH, all of it's encrypted. So uh, that's XNest. Very simple to use. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And I hope that uh, you find some uses for it and you visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. And uh, have a great day.